Hello, I'm Michael Pierce, and this is The Human Condition. Today, we're talking about when the brain is fully developed and mature. There are many markers on brain maturity, but the general consensus seems to be around age 25. It seems to be that the myelination that occurs in the brain is the final step of maturation to make an adult brain. And so myelin is a cholesterol molecule that is very much like the insulation around a wire. It's made of cholesterol or fat, and it surrounds the, the neuron, which is made of protein and fat. So the nerve cell wire, if you will, the nerve cell wires are made of the protein and, and fat, a lot of protein, and then they're coated in this myelin. The myelin coating protects the nerve and allows it to conduct faster. It allows it to send a more volume of signals per unit time down to the rest of the brain and body. So when we have very large frontal lobe, as we do in the human, the frontal lobe is the big structure that allows us to control our bodies, to control our brains, to control our emotions, to control our secretions of hormones, and to control our autonomic nervous system, and to control our immune system so it doesn't overreact. So having this massive frontal lobe and massive brain generally compared to the other animals and compared to the rest of our brain is a powerful tool. This large frontal lobe has many, many fibers that descend down and exhibit control on the rest of the brain. Those fibers need to be myelinated in order to work adequately. So while you have lots of a frontal lobe by the time you're a teenager, you don't have full myelination until you're about age 24, 25. So this is the classic story of, you know, Romeo and Juliet. You have these teenagers that have fully developed bodies and fully developed brains. In, in a sense, the anatomical brain is developed, but they don't have all of the myelin sheath coating around all of their cells. So they don't have as much efficient firing of inhibit inhibitory signals from their frontal lobes down to their brainstem and their lower brain centers to control all of these volatile emotions and hormones and, and expressions and immune system and secretions and all of the stuff. So you see that classic problem among the passionate teenagers who don't necessarily have that inhibitory descending control because they haven't fully myelinated. So if you want to fully myelinate, you've got to have minerals, you've got to have B vitamins, you've got to have protein and fats, especially cholesterol, you've got to have saturated fats, you've got to have omega-3 fats, you've got to have the fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins in order to do this full development. So the answer is age 25, roughly.